kids today i have a very interesting story for you the story of how the kangaroo got its pouch it's a very famous australian folk tale and an aboriginal mythology so the story goes like this once a kangaroo and her baby joey went to a river to drink some water like an old wombat an aged wombat he's drinking water my dear i am blind i cannot see everyone has abandoned me i am useless and worthless mm. oh that's so sad wombat well i'll be your friend i'll help you don't be sad who is this Who is this? It's me, the kangaroo. Wait, wait. Let me come to you. You can hold on to my tail, and I will take you to the place where the tastiest grass grows. Thank you, kangaroo. And the kangaroo took the wombat to the place where the tastiest grass grew. she told him to have the grass there and she realized that her baby was missing oh joy where are you joy oh my baby where are you where are you she looked around everywhere and then she spotted him sleeping peacefully under a tree she thought okay Let me go and take a look at what the wombat is doing. And as she advanced towards the grassland, she saw a hunter aiming his boomerang at the wombat. She didn't know how to help the wombat, so she cried out, "Wombat, run! Oh, there's a hunter! There's a hunter!" And to distract the hunter, she made a loud thumping. Now the hunter wanted to hunt the kangaroo. The kangaroo ran, and the hunter chased her. And the kangaroo ran, ran, and slipped, and fell, and she hid inside a cave. The hunter looked around for the kangaroo everywhere, but he couldn't find her. So after a long wait, he gave up. and left when the kangaroo sensed some safety she came out she was really worried about the wombat and her baby joey she went to the tree and heaved a sigh of relief when she saw her baby sleeping there peacefully safe when she looked at the grassland She saw that the wombat was missing. She said a prayer for him, hoping that wherever he is, he must be safe. And you know what? The wombat was not actually a wombat. He was Lord Bayali, who had descended from the sky to come and test who is the kindest of all the animals. And kangaroo had been really very kind and helpful so he wanted to gift her something so he called all the spirits of the sky and said go down to the earth immediately peel a bark of the eucalyptus tree and ask the kangaroo to tie it around herself it will become a pouch for her to keep her baby joey inside safe with her at all times the spirits descended on the earth they peeled off a bark from the eucalyptus tree and gave it to the kangaroo and told her tie it as an apron to your body and when the kangaroo tied it it became a pouch 
sticking to her skin. And that's how all the mother kangaroos have a little pouch for their baby joeys to sit inside safely. And the kangaroo told the spirits, Well, that's really kind of Lord Bayami to gift me this pouch. But may I request him to give this pouch to all the other mother kangaroos and all the marsupial creatures. The Lord was really pleased with the generous nature of the kangaroo. And immediately he granted the kangaroo's wish. So little children, kindness pays. So always be kind like the kangaroo. See you next time with another story. Bye.